10 years ago, I was living in my grandma's trailer on her couch as a flat broke drug addict. And now I've made over $25 million in sales. Here are the five habits that took me from flat broke to mega rich. And I don't wanna waste any of your time, so let's get right into it. Number one, exercise. If you're not moving your body every single day, there's no way you're gonna be successful. And I get that there are some people that are overweight that are rich. I never wanted to be that guy though. I wanted to move my body. I wanted to feel better. I wanted to be more confident. I wanted to look more confident because I knew that if I could feel confident in my own skin, that it would translate into other areas. Not only that, but when I started to win in fitness, I started to win in life. Here's the thing when it comes to success. A lot of the skills that we're trying to develop are intangible skills like content creation or making more money or getting better at sales. These are not things that you can actually measure. Fitness gives you something that you can measure. You can measure how much weight you're losing. You can measure how much muscle you've put on. You can measure what your progress photos look like. And if you can have something where you're measuring your success, you will start to see yourself progressing. And when you see yourself progressing, you will start to feel more successful. I started to win in fitness and then I translated that mindset into my business. Habit number two, wake up one hour earlier every day. This is something that I get into internet arguments with people all the time on because when I tell people I wake up at 3.45, they're like, why do you get up so early? Why don't you just stay up later? Listen, nothing good happens after 9 p.m. Okay, you're gonna go to the bar, you're gonna drink, you're gonna watch TV, you're gonna watch Netflix, you're gonna be doom scrolling on social media, and you're gonna be interacting with the outside world. The reason that it's so important to get up one hour earlier every single day is because that's undistracted time that nobody's gonna be trying to steal your attention. That's time that you can put into your own mindset. That's time that you can focus on your own goals. That's time that you can create a to-do list for the day. When you work on yourself first and you make yourself your primary project, automatically you will become more successful. Waking up one hour earlier every single day over the course of a year will give you 365 extra hours over other people that are choosing to sleep in. Also, a reason that I like waking up early is I like having a slight edge on people. I like knowing that while my competition is sleeping, I'm up early and I'm grinding towards my dreams. Habit number three, read every single day. Now, I'm not a big reader in the sense that I go buy a bunch of books and fill my brain with information that isn't going to be useful or helpful for me. I only read books that I know are gonna benefit me and my success in this current moment. Now, the book that I've chosen to read over the last seven years, and I read 10 pages of it every single day, it's called The Master Key System. It was written in 1913, and it's a book of success principles that is rumored to be the reason that Bill Gates dropped out of school to start Microsoft. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but what I do know is this book has massively help me level up my success in my life. Now, two other books that you could read that would help you be successful would be How to Win Friends and Influence People or Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. But read every single day and start your day with reading so that you fill your mind with knowledge as soon as you open your eyes. Habit number four is I meditate for 10 minutes every single day. Now, this small time that I take for myself, this 10 minute gap, this moment of silence is what allows me to get clear. It allows me to focus on my vision and focus on the things that I'd like to accomplish. It allows me to remove stress from my life and take away anything that I feel like is holding me back emotionally. It allows me to center myself, get rid of my anxiety, get rid of my overwhelm, get rid of my frustration, and just be in the present moment. For my 10 minute meditation, I just focus on my breath, breathing in, breathing out, calming down my nervous system so that I'm clear-minded and I'm able to attack the day. Now, if you're first getting started with meditation, it might be hard for you to just close your eyes and you might have this belief that it's not worth it to meditate or meditation is hard. I promise you that by taking 10 minutes to clear your mind every single day, you're going to set yourself up for some massive wins throughout the day. Here's the reason why. If we just go into our day without meditation, we're just going into chaos. We're going into something that might be good, something that might be bad. We're always at the mercy of our circumstance. When things are good, we're happy. When things are bad, we're not. But with meditation, you can get clear and get centered with yourself so that you are always in a calm and centered place and you're able to approach stressful situations with a lot more ease. Not only that, but meditation will allow you to get clear and focused on the things that you want so you can set those big and outlandish goals like becoming a millionaire one day. Habit number five, and this is by far the most important habit that you guys need to embark on if you wanna be successful, you wanna be rich, and you wanna make money, is content creation. Now, everybody here knows who Alex Hermosi is. Alex Hermosi is famously quoted for saying, the reason that he started content creation is because he read an article about Kylie Jenner being a billionaire and he realized that he was doing something wrong. See, Alex Hermosi had been approaching business from the sense that he just wanted to be the guy behind the scenes, but when he realized that Kylie Jenner was a billionaire, that Conor McGregor was a billionaire, that The Rock was a billionaire, and he realized it was because their audience size, he spent all of his time and energy on content creation. Now, for me personally, how content has helped 
throughout my life. It's given me massive speaking opportunities. It's allowed me to get on stages that I never would have got on before. It's connected me with people that I never would have imagined I'd meet in person like Gary Vaynerchuk. And it's also grown my business to make over $20 million. If you are not taking content creation seriously, you are going to get left behind. And here's the thing, you're not always gonna feel like doing content. Like I didn't feel like doing this video today, but guess what? I'm so committed to my success and I'm absolutely certain that content creation is one of the pillar foundations of what made me rich, that I will do whatever it takes to get my content out on a consistent and regular basis. So the fifth and most important habit that took me from broke to rich is content creation. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you subscribe, leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next one.